Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to install Steam onto your Chromebook. The first thing you need is to have Linux enabled. I'm going to have that tutorial in the description. And you also need to have GPU acceleration enabled. I'm also going to have that tutorial in the description. Once you have both of those things enabled, we're going to go to the terminal and the we're going to open up the terminal. Now we're just going to update our Linux sudo apt get update and then sudo apt get upgrade y all right once that's complete we're going to exit this close it now we're going to open up a browser and in this search bar we're going to type in steam latest dot dab download this first website will open repo I'm steam powered once that opens up we're gonna go for the stable releases of the steam launcher and we're gonna go all the way to the bottom and we're gonna download this one steam latest.deb says it's downloaded now we're gonna show in finder and now once that's there we're gonna drag it to the Linux file so now that the file is in, in the Linux folder, we're going to double click on it. It says install app with Linux. We're going to click on it. And now it's going to say installation successfully started. And on the bottom right, we're going to see the progress bar. We're just going to click on OK. Now this might take a little bit longer, probably two, three, four minutes, so be patient. All right, so it says installation complete. Now we're just going to press launch. All right, we did get the terminal open. And now here we go. It's already been installed. It says right here we can create a new account, log into existing account. I already have Steam, so I'm going to log in. Now just type in your password. All right, so I just log in through my Steam, and I already have this chat option popped up. Now let me just enlarge it so you guys can see better. And as you guys can see, I have a full Steam running on my Chromebook, and I have all my games here. Now, one other thing we're going to do is we're going to go Steam. We're going to go Settings. Once we're in the Settings, we're going to go Steam Play. Now, we're going to do Enable Steam Play, and uh, make sure this Proton Experimental is here. You can switch that, but make sure that's the one that's on. Now we're just going to press OK. It says Steam restart required. Let's restart it. All right, so now just type in your password again. And let me just press this. I don't have to type it in all the time. Log in. And here we go. We do get some offers. And here we go. Now we have that complete. Now we got the whole library. We have a lot of different games. Now depending how much space you have on your Linux, you can download. Now a lot of these games will not work good. I mean, you can expect uh, AAA titles to work good, but uh, let's try some. You know, the reason I got this is to play some of the older games. And there's also a lot of the arcade games that might work good. And uh, let me just check something. Uh, as you guys can see, I have a lot of different games. And I have a new Steam. I haven't been into PC gaming for many, many, many years. So these are most of the older games.
All right, let's give this game a try. It's called Bastion. So we're going to do install, and this is how much space I have on my Linux, and this game is 1.22 gigabytes. So let's see if this will work. And, uh, as of right now, it's downloading that game, so it will take about three minutes. So I'll be back once the game downloads. All right, so just finished downloading. Now it's doing the verifying the files. And here we go, I just finished. Now we're gonna click on play. But let me, I just wanted to check one out. Oh, it is. So we do get the icon here, which is kind of nice. Let me see, yeah, it is, look at that. So now if we click on that icon, the game should open up, hopefully. And uh, let's put that down. And here it says processing. And here we go, it actually did open up. Let's see if it's gonna run good. It says the game uses auto save feature. So far so good. And I have my volume all the way up, so let's see if it'll show me audio also. There we go, look at that. Look at that, it actually looks really good. It says press any key and uh, this is the story pick up from the last time I just do normal mode yes now I'm just using the trackpad and the keyboard that's already built into Chromebook the store is supposed to start at the beginning ain't so simple with this one now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted I mean, the, on a rock in the, sky. the graphics, the audio looks amazing. I mean, the audio is so clear. There's no bugging so far. The um, graphics look amazing. I'm not sure if I can. Uh, let's see something. I want to see what kind of graphics is it running. Uh, display, full screen on, auto. Okay, confirm. And let's check the resolution. Uh, I'm not sure which resolution it's playing. Is it 1920? I mean, this will be the default. I'm not gonna mess with it now. Let me just see how the game plays first. And then, uh, it says, Wow, look at that. Controls work too. W A S D. Wow, amazing. And my, uh, trackpad works good as you guys can see I'm moving it around let's put this on the side for now Finds his lifelong friend just lying press C well, it's a touch and reunion. all right so now I'm supposed to use the trackpad now this will be much easier if I actually had a mouse but for now Mouse is just easy to connect, so that's not a big thing. But as you guys can see, you can just use the regular trackpad. Um, how am I supposed to jump this? Oh, okay. I believe I'm supposed to die here, if I'm not wrong. I used to play this game way before. Oh, maybe not. And that just died. Damn it. Went over the edge. That was my fault. <laughs> but wow, this game plays so smooth right now. I'm actually quite amazed. Let me see. Um, I just want to check if it is playing in 1080. That will be quite amazing. Let's see. Here we go. We have it at 1080 now. Let's see something else. Settings. So we got the brightness, volume, subtitles. Um, there's nothing about the actual graphics. There's display, but there's vertical sync. Nothing really. I can see if it's medium settings, high, low. Um, so far, it does look amazing.
so for the shooting you need to hold both um, you gotta put two fingers on the trackpad and press them but if you want to do the hammer you gotta do one but all right so that's how you install steam on your chromebook you do need to have linux and gpu acceleration enabled i'm gonna have both of those in the description so if you do have a lot of the steam games let's say for example like me i used to play steam a lot four five six seven years ago so i did i do have library of games that's you know 100 games and a lot of those games are pretty old now so i'm pretty much going to be able to play 80% of those games as you guys can see this bastion it's like an arcade game but it runs really really good so that's it it's really simple if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments and if this video helped you out please like and subscribe it will really help me out and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching